<laughs> okay, so this is a humbling exercise for me. <laughs> I don't know any snacks. Yeah. And especially in Ghana with all the garlic and onions and pepper, spices, yeah. you you after a while you're like, what's in my mouth? <laughs> I I think I'm a popcorn expert by now. <laughs> then I've had a lot of popcorn and which I don't understand that people like it's malt. <laughs> people are gonna trash me for this. Hello and welcome to another video here on the channel. My name is Kwame. I'm Elaine. And this is me plus you is us <laughs> yeah us. us and you can see we're matching outfits yes today we look like a snack yes because we got to talk about snacks <laughs> that's your intro yes <laughs> we're looking like snack to talk about snacks yeah. so as you can see from the title we're going to talk about our favorite Ghanaian and dutch snacks yes yeah so I'm going to be talking about the Dutch snacks and she's going to be talking about the Ghanaian snacks. But I can also talk about Dutch snacks. Okay, we can talk about both. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're going to start with which type? Take the lead. Okay, Take I'm going to go with the first one being Cocos Macro. <laughs> I love things that are coconut. So if you don't know what Cocos Macro is, I'm putting it on the screen. That's how it looks like. <laughs> She's always editing in camera. Like, why? <laughs> yeah, so I've put, I've put Cocos Macron on the screen. I love Cocos Macron because I love coconut stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the sweets that or When was snacks. the first time you were eating Cocos Macron? So I had it on a flight. And the airline introduced him to it. So I had it on the flight. From Accra to Amsterdam. Yeah. Yes. And then I was like... What is this? <laughs> and then Elaine hadn't eaten hers, and I was like, whoa, this thing is really nice. Are you going to eat yours? And she's like, nah. I'm like, can I have it? So I ate it, and I realized, that, oh, my God, what is this thing? It's so nice. I don't know about you watching me right now, if you don't have, but um, how do I describe? It's like coconut toffee, coconut... Um, it's a cookie, yes. but then kind of a... Filling from Bounty. Yes. I think so that's it's a the cookie. Best. Yes, it's the best way to describe it. It's, it's, it's baked cookie. But it's very filling because yeah. it's, it's heavy as yeah. well. So it's a cookie that's like made from coconut. And that's my first uh, favorite snack. And I think what made it remarkable is that he doesn't like sweet stuff. So, so for him to ask for my cookie is like <laughs> exceptional. It has never happened cookie, in yeah. the history of yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Are you, do you want to continue with the Dutch snacks? No, 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 no. So you oh. go, you give me. Well, Ghana. Hmm. So I think before we dive into the next snack, I think Ghana and Netherlands have a very different snack culture. Oh. So I feel in Ghana, because the meals, your meals are very heavy, mm -hmm. you don't have that many snacks. While in Netherlands, you have like light breakfast, then at 11, you eat a snack. Then you go to lunch, uh, bread. Yeah. From there, around two, three, you eat something else. Yeah. Like it, we have a snack culture more than in Ghana, no? I think we we um, we also have a snack culture. But I feel yours is more like to munch on something while you wait for the big meal. No, we do have a lot of snacks. So why am I not? Um, it's just that... No, but there is a difference in the snack culture, no? So describe this snack culture so in Ghana. So the snack then. culture here is... is, is um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's more... Okay, so there are two uh, places, major, two major places. In markets... Mm -hmm. and On the road. Yes. On the, it's more on the road kind of thing. Yeah. That, that's our snack culture. It's on the road. So you're going to have your... Uh, should I mention them? The snacks. Or... No, let me come in first. Then yeah, you mentioned no, we them. mentioned the snacks. But I feel like but we are on the in road. Ghana, it's like you snack to maintain yourself until the big... No. It is. You munch on a lot of things. We munch on a lot of things, but it's not to maintain yourself before the main meal. <laughs> we have special snacks, like we, like we make snacks for snack sake. Hmm. Maybe I don't eat those. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So eat the, and mention snacks for the snack sake. Um, so we have... Is that like the shrimps on the stick? 
shrimps on a stick. That's a very um, <laughs> when you Which go to Akasombo. <laughs> Oh no, like the oysters on a oh, stick. Is that the oysters? Yeah, it's not no, shrimp. I thought it's it was shrimp. No, 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 oysters oh. <laughs> on a stick. So that's a snack. That's a snack, but it, it's, it can also be eaten with uh, a meal because you can, you can take them off the stick, mm. add some sauce to it and eat it with a meal. Okay. Right? Maybe people but need fish of the, this one too. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can get that. Mm. So, but that's not a snack. There's a snack, there's a snack like, you know, uh, groundnut cake. We call it a cake. It's a snack. Nobody ever introduced me to a groundnut cake. Really? Nobody. It's like a candy. Oh, is that like the toffee? Yes, it's like a candy. So it's, we call it in cake. Ah, so that's a snack. But it's not cake. It's toffee. Yes, but we, we call it in cake. Okay. That's the name. Okay. Um, there is uh, one that is famously translates into monkey tail. It's, uh, it's made from groundnuts and other... Um, Monkey tail. It translates to, but it's made from ground. It's like, it's called kuli kuli. I'm learning new things. Yeah, it's called kuli kuli. It's a snack. It, it's, it's sold in uh, traffic or in the markets. Monkey uh, tail. Yeah. Like, it's long. Yeah, it's, it's like, um, I can put that on the screen. That I can probably find. I put mm -hmm. it on the screen. But anybody watching me who is a Ghanaian knows uh, Kuli Kuli or okay. Adunle, as they would call it. And it's like it groundnuts and what? I don't know the ingredients mainly, but it's dry. It's um, hard. It's um, mm, I have to look at the crispy to as well. Mm. Um, crunchy. Crunchy, yes. Crunchy. Mm. It's crunchy. It's dry. It's crunchy. It's made from groundnuts and other things. So you're making me go into like all the snacks that we probably yeah, have. Yeah, because we I have, don't know these ones. Yes. So, no, we have so let me come in with the ones I know <laughs> before you take it away. Okay, so this is a humbling exercise for me. <laughs> I don't know any snack. So I will go for my, one of my favorite ones. Plantain chips. Yes. <laughs> On the screen. <laughs> So it's made from plantain. They um, slice it thinly and then it's uh, fried. fried. Deep fried. And I like the ripe one. Yeah. The more orangey one. Yeah. That is sweet. Ripe it reminds plantain. me a bit of cinnamon. And it's nice to munch on something like around three o'clock, four o'clock, like just before dinner when you feel like, mm. Yeah. And then I combine it with tonic water. I don't know. I just like the bitterness and then you have the crunchy plantain. Mm. It's really good. Um. Another snack uh, Kwame introduced me to is like this mix of um, uh, groundnuts and corn. Yeah. It is very dry. And crunchy. And crunchy too. But it's also very filling. Very filling. If you filling. eat a lot of it, yeah. And hmm, Kwame had a nice story with that one. So um, the, the roasted corn, when you've taken it off the husk and you just roast it... Um, or dry frying. Is it dry frying? Or like you don't fry with um, oil. oil. It's dry. Yeah, yeah, so it's roasted corn technically. Um, but it doesn't pop. Well, it's not popcorn. It's in between. Sometimes when the heat Sometimes is too much, it Sometimes there's popcorn in it. Yeah. Um, uh, my mom once told me that back in the day, I mean, since there were no mint and chewing gum and other stuff, because of the smell of it after it's chewed, mm -hmm. when people would be going out on dates and maybe they've had something... Uh, maybe too oniony or garlicky or something, they will chew yeah. this snack to kind of neutralize the smell mm -hmm. in their mouth yeah. before they step out. So this is also a good, um, I don't know, oral cleanser. I think it really neutralizes your breath. Yeah. And especially in Ghana with all the garlic and onions and pepper. Spices, yeah. You, you, after a while, you're like, what's in my mouth? <laughs> so especially when you're working with something or like... I mean, you just need to be like aware of that. So now they give these small tom toms or something. Is it yeah, called tom toms tom -tom. to the mint. But before that, it was actually this uh, yeah, you corn would, mix. You just chew and, and it's it's nice. It's, yeah. it's nice. Like it's filling. It's just before. So I eat it just before dinner. So like, munch, munch, munch. And then we get to dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and do you, you have another Ghanaian? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> Well, I don't take it anymore, but when I, uh, in the beginning, when I was in Ghana, uh, I would do a lot of fan yoga, <laughs> like the yeah. ones. 
So when I would come back from work, then on the roadside, I would buy fan yoga and then walk to, so from Opongolo, I would walk to the hostel with my fan yoga and... It's a good energy. Guess it was, uh, yes, yes, lots of yeah. sugar. It's so much sugar. It's the only sugar in the thing. And they, it's funny because the advertisers like healthy snack because there's calcium in it or something. But it's made from milk and... Yeah, but I think it's like 1% calcium. Like, it's <laughs> mainly sugar. But it just gives you a nice sugar high. Uh, especially at the end of the day, it's you can pull through, kind of, um, through it. Yeah. No? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just I, I don't, I don't, I don't eat it anymore though. I have stopped. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah, and I eat, I ate a lot of. When I was pregnant, I ate a lot of popcorn, but it's not necessarily um, Ghanaian. But what I like about it is that you can get fresh popcorn on the yeah, roadside. On the roadside. So that is very Ghanaian because I mean, in Netherlands you can buy in the store, but it's not the fresh, fresh, fresh one. And there's ve- I've tried a lot of popcorn um, sellers. But you need the one that has like sugar that's like glazed around the popcorn. So when you bite in it, you have this crunch of sugar. And not everybody does like that. Sometimes they just pour like sugar on it after like baking the popcorn. Yeah. So I I think I'm a popcorn expert by now. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Then I've tried a lot of popcorns and yeah, I know which one I like and which one I do like. <laughs> okay. And then there's also Kelly Yes, Kelly but come on, everybody knows that one. Yeah. But, but it's, it's, I have it's, to I mean, say. We're talking to yeah, both Ghanaians and Dutch. Yeah, Dashi. that's true. So Kelly is like um, small slices of plantain and then fried and spiced in a certain way. Yeah. So it's, it's um, pepper, ginger, and other spices. Yeah. And then you, you mix it with the. Like you, you make it into a paste. Yeah. And then you put the, it depends on how you cut it. It could be in cubes or but small sizes yeah. of plantain, it's ripe really plantain, nice. ripe, soft, ripe Yeah, plantain. very soft. And seems. then it's mixed. It's made to sit for a while to marinate and then deep fried in a lot of hot oil. Yes. And it's often um, sold in the evenings or late yes. uh, nights. Which I don't like. After meal. I want it during the day. <laughs> <laughs> but you can get your kelly with it no day. well so in our neighborhood hmm, we don't have i don't know who wants to jump into this business opportunity but we don't have a kelly Willet joint in our neighborhood have we 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 do we just haven't seen it no so but we, we have tried to look for it yeah we haven't and it's found not it there. maybe it's not close to us but we'll find it we'll find it i'm sure there is there's no way there's no Ghanaian neighborhood without kelly Willet. yeah that's true yeah it's not possible but it's mostly beginning of the evening or evening when you can buy it yeah while I could eat it all day, every day. So I don't understand. It's <laughs> part of the snack culture. Yeah. So yeah, the <laughs> ones you don't know, are the, some of the ones I've uh, mentioned. Um, and we also, our, our snacks often come with, um, we also have the fruit snacks as well. Like yeah, combination. I've got fruit, yes. Yeah, we have a combination of like, maybe you have a banana and groundnuts as a snack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes full meal on its own, depending on how much you want to eat, but it's a snack as well. Um, even the, roasted plantain. Yeah, like the coffee. Coffee broke man. Coffee broke man. Yeah, for you it might be a snack, but for somebody it's a full it's meal. A f- can it be a can full be meal. It's very filling though. <laughs> yeah. Very filling. So those are some of the Ghanaian snacks, and then I'm sure there are different snacks in different regions of Ghana that uh, are yeah, yeah. C- common or popular there that is not really popular in Accra. Yeah, maybe good to mention also like the tea culture in Ghana. Well, not necessarily tea. Like it's like tea with lots of sugar, lots of milk, condensed yeah. milk. And then that's like tea here. It's really like a snack on its own, honestly. Is it a snack on its own? Because it's quite filling. Yeah, but I wouldn't uh, consider it a snack. And yes, it's a snack. Tea? That's a snack. Same with Milo. It's a meal. People have it for breakfast. Yeah, like, okay, okay, then it's not a snack. It's not a snack. But I'm just mean, it's a snack for me because it's not like, oh, you drink a cup of tea. Like, it's different. Okay. I don't know how to explain. Uh, And then Milo, very thick. Yeah. Milo. You would also call that a meal? Technically. (laughs) 
je kunt survival meal op. En yeah. uh, oh, I, oh, another thick drink, which I don't understand that people like it. Malt. <laughs> people are gonna trash me for this. You need to grow up with malt in order to really appreciate that, it. That I've realized. I've realized that from Because a lot of people, even in even even in um, Africa, for example, um, the first time. My, 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 uh, Kuda, mm. the first time, like I, in, or when she came and I introduced her to malt, and she was like, "Oh no, I didn't introduce her to malt. She had taken, she had drank malt before, and she was like, she didn't get." No, why. you don't get it if you didn't grow up with yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's an a acquired, nostalgic thing. It's an acquired taste. Yeah, it's either you you grew up with it or not. Most um, foreigners I know dislike malt like heavily, like. Ugh. Yeah. But we love malt, especially when it's very chilled. <laughs> it's, very it's just, nice it's also a lot of sugar again. And it's really filly. Well, I think malt It, has changed over time. Maybe. Malt of back in the day was not very sugary, if I'm, in my opinion. Yeah, okay. I see. Yeah. Mm, okay. I think, yeah. What, what else? No. no. Yeah. yeah, the dried fruits. I like that, but that's a bit a newish thing. Uh, like dried mango, dried banana, dried pineapple. These kind of snacks are yeah. now in more in stores than on roadside and stuff. But it's a good snack. Uh, also a bit of sugar, but it can also sustain you for a while. And yeah. it's nice and chewy. Like, you really have to chew well. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. to go chew. So I think, I think more of our snack um, or snacks in Ghana are on the road type um, snacks. Yeah. And you find them in the markets. And you seldom have people um, making it at home. Um, mm, the yeah. drinks as well. I mean, like the asana, uh, the bisap. Yeah, you know, that's all, so all nice. like, Yeah, all these. They're kind of in a commercial space most of the time. Yeah, you don't make it at home. Yeah, you can make it at home. I mean, it's doable. But most of our snacks are on the road, on the go, because yeah. um, there's a lot of activity in terms of uh, market activity or people working in an informal sector and it's easy for you to just snack on something on the go. Oh, that's what I mean. Sustain yourself. Sustain like. yourself. But it's not, I mean, you, you're making it seem like people eat <laughs> regular meals, but in a small quantity, a snack. No, no, no. I just mean like, how to say, like, it's really because you're always on the move. Yeah. Kind of. So especially in Accra, like the snacks, like, If you take a malt, you can go again for like two hours. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The same with like uh, the gra the corn mix. If yeah. you chew, 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 like while you're driving or you're doing errands, you can, you, you don't have to like get a meal quickly or something. Yeah. It's, it's not a light thing. Like it's not, com you cannot compare to Coco's Macron. You eat one and then you want no, 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 no. to eat six before you're full. Yeah. But in Ghana, no. <laughs> Yeah, so Coco's Macron is the Dutch one. Um, she's gonna also school me on like the Dutch ones. Oh, But I'm not gonna which school. Which ones are your Which ones are your favorites out of the ones you mentioned out of the Ghanaian uh, snacks? Oh, almost like plantain chips for sure. Then the corn mix, that's for sure. Kelewele, that's for sure. A bruning katia is the corn mix. We call that a bruning katia, corn and groundnut. Corn and groundnut. Mm, yeah, that's about it. And then which one again? Kelewele. Fair enough. They are very uh, popular. So yes, very popular. <laughs> <laughs> Especially my household. So. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So my favorite or the Dutch snacks that I know, um, or Coco's Macron, I know that. I recently discovered Pindarocha. Oh. Pindarot. <laughs> oh my god! It's really good. Especially with white chocolate. My god. That's like cocaine. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to bribe me. Give me a pinda rocha. Yeah. Uh. It's so nice because, okay, we have to describe well. So it's like groundnuts. This is actually a business opportunity for somebody in Ghana. <laughs> White chocolate with groundnuts. Groundnuts in And them. then you melt the chocolate around it, let it dry. Yeah. It's. Because you have the crunchiness from the groundnuts, the sweetness from the chocolate. And the milky. And then it melts. Sweet, milky. Mil oh. Yeah, it's really good. Lord. Anyway. So I think pinda rocha became my favorite in the latter part of when we're in the Netherlands uh, in the last few months. So it became my favorite. 
Mm. Um, Dutch people eat bread as main meals, <laughs> but over here... It's a snack. <laughs> if I'm being fair, come on. If you're, if you're eating a sandwich, it's not a main meal unless it's maybe breakfast and you choose. But on the average day, it's a snack. Yeah. But they eat bread. Um, what's the, the Christmas... Oli ball. Oli ball, wow. Oli ball is a Dutch snack as well. It's a bit like bofrot. Yeah, it is. Only with raisins in it. Yeah, it's like bofrot with and raisins. We eat it in like it. that. Oli ball, bitter ball. Oh, yeah, bitter ball. That's more like when you go out for drinks and you feel like you want to munch on something. Then you do um, bitter ball. How would you describe it? Um, it's, it's cheese inside, right? No, that's not. No, meat. Meat. Like, um, ah, which one is which one is cheese inside? Cheese stick. Okay. But that's I don't. Well, maybe it's Dutch. I don't know. So it's stick? like fried. You fry. Uh, it's like um, spring roll, but then cheese inside, and yeah. they're smaller. So it's like when you Thin. bite in it, it's crunchy. It's fried, and then so the cheese ball, comes out. Is meat and what? Meat and kind of a crunchy outside. Yeah, so meat, it's uh, like rahu. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, and then and then it's it's so it's dipped in egg mustard. And oh yeah, mustard. yeah, yeah. There's no. mustard in there as well. No, you dip it in mustard when you are no, no, about no, no, I'm to. I'm eat talking it. about how to the frying. It. Yeah, like breadcrumbs around it. Uh-huh. That's how it kind of feels. So the egg wash and breadcrumbs. Yes, and then you fry. Yeah, and you fry. But what's inside it? Meat. Yeah, meat, meat. But why is it called bitter ball? That I don't know. It means bitter. Well, okay, yeah, that's... But is it, is it, it's not, it's not as... I always have to research that. Okay. You can add it in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Original bitter baller. And what are the snacks? Kaas souffle. It's also a cheese souffle. Uh-huh. It's kind of a similar outlook as bitter ball, like a crunchiness, breadcrumbs kind of outside. It's like a square. Yeah. And then inside there's melted cheese. And then what about the one with the rice inside? That's bami schijf. Bami schijf? Oh, no, that, that, that's with nee. bami. Rice. Hmm. I don't know the name of that one. So the, all these like fried snacks you get at snack bar. And it can be a meal on itself. But I don't eat it often. Is that all the Dutch snacks that are available? <laughs> Not all the snacks that are available. Uh, oh, are we talking traditional or I mean the the commercial ones that are like you know in the rocha in the in the bag is different. But let's talk about the traditional ones like the way we have our. Uh, I don't know, I think we have a lot of traditional Dutch snacks. But we eat a lot of cookies, but that's not necessarily like when you go to somebody's house, they will offer you tea or coffee with a cookie. Um, I think the oli bowl is very traditional. Mm-hmm. The snack bar stuff, I think, is a mix because, for example, bami schijf. Bami is like more like an Asian influence, like that's like noodle. Yeah. So that's not necessarily originally Dutch. I mean, but it's common in Netherlands. Yes. That's 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 to say yes. like that. I think uh, one that is very uh, common and traditional and nice is strobafel. Aha. Why did I? Why didn't I should have mentioned strobafel first? Especially uh, if you get them fresh on the market. Yeah. So they make them. It's like cookie. Then you have. Stroop, which is um, like the ah honey. No, it's not honey. It's like um, what you put on pancake syrup. Syrup. Syrup, and then another layer of cookies, and you call stroop waffle, um, syrup waffle. And in the market, they make the cookie fresh, and then they put a thing and like so warm. It's warm. And it is warm. I have a picture of that. And I think it's for, for tourists, it's one of the most popular things you would yeah, ever buy. It's really nice. In the Netherlands, even for gifts for your friends. Yeah. Uh, it's on the screen. You see strew waffles if you see it anywhere. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I saw strew waffles in the store here in Ghana. I'm not going to mention the name. And I looked at the price and I just laughed. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> like in Netherlands, you can buy for two euros or something. And if you want to eat it, it's nice. If you have tea or coffee, then you put it on and it's hot. You put the strobe off on top and then the the syrup will melt, melt a bit. Mm. It's not the same as the market, the fresh one, but it comes close it, to it. It comes mm. close. But I'm not a fan of uh, strobe waffles a lot. I've eaten it several times, but I'm not a fan. If I would choose between, I would, I would take Coco's Macron any day. <laughs> yes, we should have brought some. 
Yeah. I don't know why we didn't, but. But we brought Pindarocha and it's finished, it finished before the finish week was like, ending. And, and ending. So. <laughs> We're just dreaming of Pindarochas every night. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say my favorite uh, Dutch, Dutch uh, snack is obviously. Kokos or Pindarocha. Pindarocha. Oh, they're like together at the share. I see now is Pindarocha. <laughs> and Kokos Macron. Yes. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. But I don't know which one is my favorite favorite. Then maybe my favorite is plantain chips just because it's like the real OG snack. Also, oh, you like plantain chips overall, even if you combine the two countries. Plantain chips. Oh, no, no, no. I thought I had to choose one. Okay, in Ghana. Snack. But if you combine the two countries, which one would you go for? No, I would go for sweet. I'm a sweet dude. So, Pinderoche. There are not a lot of sweet snacks in Ghana, except from Fan Yogo. Fan Yogo is not a sweet snack. I think we have, you have not had the toffees a lot. Like the I think I and, had uh, one, uh, but uh, I don't think I was very swayed by it. Really? Mm hmm. I think I should, I should definitely introduce you to... I've done a terrible job then. Terrible. I've done a terrible job at introducing her to... Ghanaian which which other sweet snack is there? I'll, I'll find them and I'll bring them. I've, I've, okay, I'll, then we'll do like a snack part two. Yeah, we have I'll to. When I'll eat it. We have to do a snack. So we've described them. We have to do a part two where she actually tastes them and rates them. So <laughs> watch out for that. So blind, I'll do blindfolded and I'll describe the texture first. And then we take it off. I look at it. That's what we're going <laughs> to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Snack panel. Okay. I think, um, did, did I miss anything? Do you have you, any other snack you want you to? You tell me. No, I don't know. I'm so good. If, you, if I didn't miss lot. any. Oh, there are a lot, but well, like they're mostly sweet cookies. Okay. So I think, and you were describing yours, so I think it's fine. Yeah. Oh, and oh, I want Dutch snack, tompoes. Ah, what's tompoes? Like it's a small, um, more like a pastry. Like it has this layer of very crunchy layered, um, not cookie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you really like buying that. Yeah. The pink one, right? The pink. And then there's um, thick um, cream. In between, and then on top, it has this uh, icing, pink icing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so would nice. You, would you also say that... Uh, but that people don't eat it on the regular. It was because I was pregnant, I was eating it a lot. <laughs> but would that's more like when somebody's birthday, you bring yeah. Tom Push. Would you also say cheese uh, sticks are a snack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you go out for drinks and you, you feel like, you know, beer and like fried stuff go well together. So you have bitter butter, cheese sticks, like a whole mix. Then you order, you get a whole platter of fried stuff. Yeah. I don't know if that's a Dutch thing. Maybe. Maybe. Again, we have to look into the origin of snacks. But we're going to bring you the snacks and then she's going to taste them and then rate them. Yes. But uh, my favorite Dutch snack is definitely tompoes. But it's not a snack, it's more like a cake. That's your favorite all time. Yes. Wow. You can wake me up in the middle of night with Tom Push. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please send Tom Push, everybody who's watching this. <laughs> okay. All right, so yeah, that's... Uh, no, I want to hear if people have snacks that we didn't... That they like snacks that we put didn't... Put it in the comments Please section. put it in the comments, because if we're going to eat the snacks next time, I want to try everything. So that I, he didn't indicate me on or that I wasn't exposed to. Yeah. And, and please don't kill me about the malt. I didn't grow up with it. I respect it, but I don't love it. Okay. Okay. Point made. Point made. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We'll catch you in the next one. We'll catch you in the next snack edition. Yes. Of me plus you is us. is snack. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.